Hi, welcome to another post from Dr. Blake's Healing Soul. Today our athletic trainer Aphrodite will explain the muscle testing for the posterior tibial tendon and differentiating it from the long flexors to the big toe or the lesser toes and the anterior tibial tendon. Okay, so the first test we're going to do is for the posterior tibialis. So what I want to do is first grab the ankle to make sure there's no compensation. I'm going to have the patient um, plantar flex slightly and then I'm going to resist this way. So I'm going to push out this way and have the patient push against me. So go ahead. Okay, very good. Um, and then for the anterior tibialis, you want to be more in dorsiflexion and inversion, so you can see how this tendon is popping out here. So that's what you want to make sure you don't see when you do the uh, posterior tibialis test, because then they're compensating with their anterior tibialis. So go ahead and go into inversion. This time, um, I'm going to resist dorsiflexion, so I'm going to push down, go ahead and push up against me. So there you go, that's for anterior tibialis. Now we're going to do um, the big toe flexor. So I'm going to push up, push against me with your big toe. Very good. And the last one is for the toe flexors. So go ahead and push all your toes down against my resistance. Very good. So Aphrodite, you're looking for not only tone in those muscles that, that you can strengthen, but you're also looking for pain. Right, pain and also weakness. Right. Okay, thank you very much, Aphrodite, you're for welcome. explaining how to differentiate the four tendons that are commonly involved in this syndrome.